Etho was squashed by a falling anvil? What in the world? Hello. This guy, man. <laughs> you tried to get me in season eight, too. I remember that. <laughs> you have no idea. I was so nervous. I knew. Could I even say, yeah, he might just go for a coffee, a quick sandwich. He will be right back. <laughs> I thought I heard something, too. I was like, oh, should I check it out? No, it's fine. This is a big achievement. You know, I'm trying to get this for 10 years or something. Ever since you did it uh, to Generic B back in the days on the Mind Track servers. <laughs> what have you been up to, man? I, I've been building <laughs> farms like crazy here to, and testing them. And yeah, I stopped so. for a moment for coffee, and apparently I'm getting <laughs> squashed by anvils, too. Yep. I feel like, you know, we're always buddy-buddy. I feel like I need to go to war with you or something. Uh, come on, no, Ethan, don't do this. You're my biggest idol. <laughs> Can't. I feel like you would be a good person to go to war with, though. You would actually be Oh, fun. yeah. I'd love it, man. I'd love it. Guess who in AFK? <laughs> it's okay, Doc. Just, just keep... Uh... Keep doing whatever you're doing there, Doc. It's okay. All is good. <laughs> Feels a little dirty killing an AFK guy, but, uh, you know, Doc said anything goes. <laughs> oh, payback. Oh, feels good. <laughs> <laughs> this is how to transfer gear. You take all your stuff off. Boop, 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 boop. Just so you don't have any chance of mixing up your stuff with the other guys. Then you go into his stuff. You started this war. I will end it. Etho. No! Oh, Are you serious? I was gone for five minutes. I've been on all day. Got him. Well played, well played. <laughs> and also, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching your, your tree farm. That's really clever. You detect by just pulling out the moss block every time. And Ah, uh, yeah, it's running on a clock. Oh, yeah, and then you push stone back in. You convert it. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is like a, a yeah, super simple one. Dude, that's really, that's cool, though. That's really simple. It works well. Yep, yep. So welcome back, everybody, to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server. And as you can see, I got myself into a little bit of a thing with Doc M. <laughs> oh, and he's vicious, too. Every time he comes online, he goes after me now. It's it's stressful. Uh, but yeah, what's been going on on Hermitcraft here? Well, I have been uh, super active on the server. I've been playing every day, all day kind of thing for over a week here. Uh... And some of you have noticed, it's like, Etho, why aren't you making videos? What's going on? Uh, to be honest, when I make a video, I usually like to have some kind of clear theme or project in mind that we're going to do together. And I still don't have one. <laughs> I've just been doing a ton of stuff on the server. Lots of random stuff. But uh, I got a lot to show you. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to give you an update at this point. So let's let's do that this episode. I guess if I was to pick a theme, though... I've been focusing on resource collection and farm building. Uh, I was hoping we would get to base building this episode, but I'm not quite there yet. But uh, yeah, I think first off here, I'll try to give you a little tour of what I've been up to. Uh, this is our industrial area uh, down by our base. This is kind of like where we're putting anything big and bulky, any farms that I'm not sure will ever look good up in our main base or that I'm just desperate to have because... Uh, we get a lot of good stuff from them, and I, I just need them built. <laughs> it's going down here, like, quick and quick and dirty is, is kind of the idea. Eventually, we'll probably connect our base up to this area, and maybe even try to make this look a bit nicer if I got time. Uh, but I started off just by building a lava farm up here. We've got 48 cauldrons running down here. And then I use this lava to build the moss farm. You see how we got lava all around the, the four sides? Whoa! Oh, I was not ready for that guy. I didn't hear him at all. He just came out of nowhere for me. <laughs> I got to turn my mob sounds up, I think. Uh, I'm not seeing any more of my stuff here. I'm kind of thinking it got into the moss farm and then washed down into the composters. 
Oh yeah, there's my shovel. <laughs> Alright, maybe this is where my stuff is, hopefully. My bucket. Um, I think we got everything back here, except I can't find my silk touch pick. I think I lost that, unfortunately. Uh, but the good news is I made an, an extra one by accident before, so... There we go. <laughs> Replaced. Uh, but yeah, if it looks familiar, this is the same moss farm we built back in Season 8, I think Episode 3 of Hermitcraft. So if you're curious uh, how the design is built, you can go check that out. But we have made a couple improvements since then as well, which I'm going to point out to you here. First off, uh, they're all running off of a single hopper clock over there. And I found a way to link the farms together. It, it's genius. It's a, it's a repeater between them. <laughs> That's all we really needed to do here. The old farm used four dispensers. This one only uses three. With the water streams gushing out here. And the items do pretty good with this. They don't get stuck on the pad. They, they wash down this hole pretty quickly. Now this is key. We used to have a hopper minecart underneath the farm to pick up the items. But on a large scale, you don't really want a lot of hopper minecarts running. Uh, they're kind of laggy, right? So I found a better way. There's a hole we can punch in the farm over here. And when the items fall down, they go into the water streams into our composters. And it's nice and simple. Um, but in order to prevent the piston from crushing our hole, we put a fence gate there. And then it's fine. But yeah, all the moss and stuff ends up in our big row of composters here. I got three composters per farm. Uh, so five farms, 15 composters. And all the bone meal goes underneath here into a elevator. Which automatically shoots it up. And then I found a pretty good spot here to run the bone meal. Uh, across all the, all the hoppers that feed into the farms. There's a nice line that runs down here. Uh-huh. And it makes its way to the end, and then anything that doesn't get refed back into the farm uh, ends up in this chest here. So it runs totally automatically, it never runs out of bone meal. And anything extra goes here, and I can just bust these when uh, they start to fill up. And then uh, just craft them in a bowl box, nice and easy here. One of the very first farms I seem to build in every single Minecraft world I play is this mini farm. Uh, this is great for getting wheat. Especially, but also carrots, potatoes, beetroot. Another farm that uses a ton of bone meal is the azalea tree farm we got set up here. So this uses bone meal to turn the stone into moss. Grows the sapling on top of that and then grows the sapling into a tree. All that uses bone meal. But then uh, it lets out a TNT here to harvest the oak logs and the rooted dirt. And we automatically farm it without having to do anything, which is really, really cool. Then we got our, our normal tree farm here as well. So we got a lot of stuff to do in this area if we want to stay occupied while uh, our farms are running. I like to try to compound things like that. We also have a triple cave spider spawner here, which uh, we'll get back to later this episode. We got to make a couple tweaks to this. One of the major things happening on the server right now is Vintage Beef has got his trading card game all set up and good to go here. Uh, he's got the store here where you can buy the packs, but he's also been working for months on the cards over at his base, and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this. I'm a huge fan of trading card games, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> to play one in Minecraft, built in Minecraft. That is so cool. But uh, yeah, Beef has asked me to help him with a couple little random tasks here and there with setting up the game. Ethel's making a chime, by the way, in case you were wondering. Oh, okay. I thought he was stealing. Um, because, you know, why else would you be under the ground? Yeah, exactly. I make music. <laughs> Ethel is uh, the, the music maker. Beef will let me go once I'm done, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's trapped down here until music. he's finished. Music man, he comes from far away. <laughs> so does the song actually start back here? Yeah, I didn't know really where to start it. That's fine. That's fine. You always sound so disappointed. <laughs> no, 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 that's good. I could just run. I could just run the redstone down this way. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You Pete. always sound so scared. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. Just imagine you with your arms crossed. It's like you put it over here. <laughs> you thought that was a good decision. <laughs> and then just. Okay, mm-hmm, all right.
Aha, uh -huh. yeah, so back over at our main base, you can see things are still looking a little bit on the crazy and chaotic side here. Unfortunately, not a lot of progress visually here. <laughs> not yet. Uh, but I did get a little bit done. I got the ender chest uh, chalker loaders kind of worked out here. This was surprisingly difficult to find something that I'm happy with. <laughs> but I'm really happy with this. Like, we have to hide the hoppers here, which is, which is kind of tricky. And trapdoors are pretty much our only option for looks because uh, if we put anything thicker than a trapdoor, what happens is it blocks our view of the shulker boxes. And I need to see what color they are so I know what is what. Like I know the yellow one is our sandbox. And I know the green one is our wood box. And, and the blue is our clay box. And so that really helps when I can see the stuff. Um, out of the 19 loaders here, I got six of them set up now, which is... Uh, not a lot, <laughs> but it's the six I use the most often, and uh, I got four or five of them close to ready as well. It's just like a ton of work getting the resources for this. I'm basically trying to collect 12 stacks of every item in the game, which is uh, very, very tricky. Not tricky, just time consuming. Um, but yeah, we're making good progress. Uh, we got most of the plant stuff just about ready to go here. And this is great though, once it's all said and done, like it boosts my productivity so much on the server because I no longer have to run back and forth to my storage room every time I need something. I just have everything in my ender chest ready to go wherever I am, which is so, so cool. And then when I never ever need to refill stuff, it's like, oh, I'm a little bit low on dark oak, a little low on spruce. All I do is I pop this one out, put, the, put this one back in. It gets refilled automatically. And this one's all full because it's been sitting in there and I'm good to go. I don't have to wait around and mess around with my chest and stuff. It's just done, <laughs> which is so nice. And there's another big reason we want to get these shulkers figured out as soon as possible. It's because I'm going to use them to get our search engine working. Like it works, but at the moment, I just have a couple random item filters I put in here manually, right? The problem is we got six double chests to fill up with items here. And it's a very high likely chance I'll double up on some of them or forget something important if I'm just doing them manually. So what I want to do is use our shulker thing there. Once we got it all nicely organized, uh, what we can do is just take one of the finished ones here and easily just uh, copy it over to our inventory and then use that to fill up our item filters on the search engine. I, I just started doing the nether stuff over here. Just pump these in nice and easy. And now all our nether stuff is in the search engine. All right, I have to know what is our total number? Let's do a search for basalt. So I have this thing where I never throw anything away in this game. And arguably, I probably should. Um, but I've been doing a lot of work in the nether, and I'm just curious to see how much basalt we actually ended up getting. One. Two. <laughs> nine. Ten. Eleven. Eleven shulkers full of basalt. I don't know if I'll ever use that. Um, yeah, Let, let's go see what I've been up to in the nether. Ooh, uh -huh. oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> dude, you have been busy. Oh my, wow. Now, when you see this, do you feel, you feel the project? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right, good, this, good. This is absolutely awesome. Yeah, so I decided I would work on the green tunnel in the nether, everybody. I spent an insane amount of time on this. I don't know what got it into, into my head. I, I think I wanted to get blackstone and all the nether stuff to fill up the system there. Um, And also, like, the green tunnel was the shortest of all the tunnels in the nether hub. Uh, like, it only went up to mile marker 6, while the yellow one goes all the way up to 30, for example. Um... And the thing is, my base, like all this from this point beyond, I have built. Um, and my base is all the way up here to the right. Did not work on my own personal tunnel yet. That's a future project. But I went all the way over here. Um, <laughs> what I don't have is the the uh, crimson wood, the crimson stem for the sides here. I need tons of it. But yeah, it goes all the way up to here now, which is which is kind of cool. The other main reason I decided to do this, uh, just for uh, the other hermits and stuff, is because I started a project with Ren, and the tunnel for it is over here. 
yeah, so I wanted to get a tunnel out here so when the hermits come by, they won't get lost uh, in the nether and stuff. It'll be nice and easy for them. And uh, we got this all set up, ready to go. I'm not going to tell you what the project is, but hopefully, uh, you know, you got enough hints here, you can figure it out. We'll get into that next episode, probably. So, I heard uh, we've got starter decks available now? Starter decks are available, my friend. That's the big one in the middle there. Indicated oh, by the starter decks words <laughs> hovering above it. First deck, five diamond blocks. Additional decks, five TCG tokens. So you're only allowed to buy this with the diamonds, right? That's correct. Yep. None of the other ones are for sale for diamonds. So you've got to get started with the diamond blocks and then earn tokens for the rest. Right in front here. You see that sign? Just drop it right in there. Drop payment here. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is the honor system. Is there any way to cheat this? Can I, like, throw in, uh, you know, those slugs that the, they use for washing machines? Technically, you could throw in nothing and just go turn around and hit the button, but I, I'm oh, I'm okay. hoping you guys are all honest people. <laughs> I guess that's why you wanted to be here in the store, right? Yeah, that's right. I need to be watching. <laughs> okay, here we go, Beef. First This is it. This deck. is it. Oh. Hey. It works. What's that funny little jingle? It's between worlds, actually. If you right-click it anywhere... There it is! There's one. <laughs> <laughs> Was not prepared. Looks like I'm going to be a builder, potentially. Mm, I don't know about that. I think your explorer. explorer your, your primary deck is explorer deck. I got two Jevons. Okay. Explorer-type Jevons. Got them and Jevonation. Mm -hmm. So are the explorer like uh, hermits paired with the the resources? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. green so, builder. Yeah, I made sure that all the starter decks had the appropriate resources to get started. And we got a, a rare loyalty. Ooh, the loyalty We're card's the rare pretty cards good. Here. When the hermit that this card is attached to is knocked out, user flips a coin. If heads one of the hermit's attached item cards is chosen to return to the user's hand. Oh. So yeah, when you're knocked out, there's a chance you can recover one of your item cards instead of just discarding everything. It is player can choose to attack AFK opposing hermits. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if okay, I like that. If AFK hermit is attacked, attacking hermit discards one attached item card. Yeah, so you have to get rid of what one if of he has no cards? attached card. Though. They're all he needs the attached item cards to execute the moves. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so you've got to get rid of one every time you attack an AFK Hermit. It's going to be super valuable late game because a lot of people just swap out their hurt and yeah. injured Hermits to the bench. So, yeah, it's a good one to yeah, have. Yeah, that finishing kill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> XP is giggle. <laughs> and noise. <laughs> noise. Another rare card. Uh, noise move ignores any effect cards attached to opposing Hermits. Oh, okay, so if they got like a shield or something, it just exactly. bypasses that? Yeah. Very cool. What'd you say, though? Limit of one, though, right? I can't buy. Another yes, starter you can. Deck, you can cannot I? buy another starter deck. Any additional starter decks do not cost diamonds; they cost TCG tokens. That's these right. guys right here. Ah, yes. And okay. and you earn these guys by playing the game and winning. No, even if you lose, you get one. If you win, you get of three. Yes. Okay. So you you should win. I mean, if you face Ethan, so you should get one win. Dubs. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Very funny, Etho! <laughs> oh, snappers. All right, everybody. It turns out Beef's TCG game is officially open now, so we can we can play games with other hermits and uh, give it a try. So we should try to get one of those going uh, sometime soon here. Uh, first, though, we're, we're just going to finish up with our tour here. Just got a couple little random things to show you uh, to finish off. Uh, we got a bee farm set up down here. This is kind of just a temporary thing. I just want to get some honey and some honeycomb. Uh, needed that this for making the candles in the nether hub there uh, One of the things I seem to ignore every single minecraft world I play is the cactus farm <laughs> And I really struggle for the green dye and when you need it It's like it's too late then because it takes cactus so long to grow so this season of hermitcraft I decided I'm gonna build it right away on the server here. So this goes all the way down to bedrock. There's tons tons of plants there and uh, 
Yeah, our double chest is totally full of them now. Another one of those farms I tend to ignore every season is the pumpkin and melon farm. Not this season. Nope, nope, nope. We got ourselves a couple mini uh, pumpkin and melon farms here. Very tiny. <laughs> I'll, I'll tear these down eventually, but I just put these uh, underneath here pretty early. And uh, over time, because I'm always in the area here, they actually generate uh, a decent amount of stuff. And I'm using that to fill up our storage system there and uh, get like jack-o'-lanterns for lighting. You need the carved pumpkins for your golems and stuff. So it's good to have. And I uh, just built a little gizmo here for carving the pumpkins. Not like that. Other way. There we go. Just hold right click and automatically get carved pumpkins and seeds. What you do is you just plant this over here and it'll automatically grow. And then when you right click it, it'll automatically make another one. So you just hold right click. Whoa, not like that. And then over here is a general purpose uh, bone meal farm. So pretty much anything you need to bone meal in this game, like let's say you want twisting vines or or two tall flowers, you know, you just throw them in here and you start it up. Bam, easy peasy. The main downside of a farm like this is pretty much anything you farm in it, you could probably make a better farm if you made it specifically for that item. But this is great just if you want to try to collect a bunch of different items in the game. Like I want 12 stacks of propagules. If I made a farm for propagules, like specifically, I could automatically farm them without doing anything. But if I just want to get a few here, I can just punch them every so often and it's fine, right? <laughs> a little bit inconvenient, but not too bad. Flower farms. We got a bunch of these built around the server for collecting the different colors of dyes. And uh, I got this one built near dock space that he's trying to find it's like in a secret location here <laughs> i don't want him to find it or he might trap it or something so we get blue orchids and light blue dye from the swamp one and then the plains one we get the blue red yellow and light gray dye like a so it's also great for collecting grasses so i can go over here with the shears while i'm waiting and they just keep regrowing and it's nice and easy. If you look around our base here, you might notice I have actually chopped down quite a bit of the trees nearby just so that we don't see them so much in the video. Like I don't like how it looks on video when there's a dense jungle in the background. It makes uh, a lot of artifacting on YouTube and it's, it's not a great look. <laughs> so I'm trying to get rid of it as much as I can here, but it takes a bit of time, but I'm using the, the jungle wood for crafting and stuff. So it's, it's not too bad. Um, if we go a little bit further this way, I found out there's actually a little tiny flower forest near our base. Let's see if we can find it here. It's not too far away, actually. It's, it's pretty convenient. Yeah, right over here. Those are my flower farms I got set up there. Um, so it turns out, like, I explored the entire flower forest here. It's like 500 blocks long. There was no spot whatsoever that generated the Lily of the Valley. But if you don't know, flower forests don't uh, use a 2D grid anymore. They actually use a 3D grid since like a few updates ago. So if you go up into the air or down underground, you might actually find a spot where lilies, lilies of the valley can generate if you're having trouble finding them. It's actually a, a pretty big spot too. So this is one of the best ways of getting white, white dye. Aha, uh -huh. what's this one? Orange and I think red tulips. And then finally, we have the pink and white tulips and some oxide daisies, so it's pretty good. We got all the farms covered for the flowers, except for Elium. I still need to find a spot that generates Eliums and build that. I can see them down there, but I might want to put it up in the air. All right, we're going to have to wrap this up pretty quick here. <laughs> it's getting pretty long this episode. Uh, but I'll just show you the cave spider spawner real quick and show you what it's doing. So this side has two spawners, and this side has one. They all kind of meet together in the middle. Uh, for the most part, they don't really stick to anything except the walls here. Doesn't really cause a problem, though. I could probably fix that if I brought the blocks in a, by one and had the water stream stick up, stick over by one. Uh, but then they make their way down there, and they start climbing up all over the place. This is the, the big issue. I just have, like, the standard, uh, default killing area here, the simple one that people tend to use. I thought I'd try it out and see if it worked, and it, it works if, as long as I'm down here killing them constantly. But if it ever backs up, they start climbing up the glass here and get stuck up there. <laughs> so it's not really going to work. We need to think of something else here. I think we're going to try smash the spiders into the corners, and just on their own, they should climb up into the corners, no problem. But to help them out, to get them to do it quicker, what I think we'll do is uh, try make a bubble baiter. I've never done this before. I want to see if... Uh, we put honey blocks in the corners. We can do that trick where uh, 
because the honey block is less than a full block, they will actually touch the water elevator on the other side of it. So, whoa, we fall down. Yeah, so I think we're going to do it like this. Uh, water will go up to the honey like this. And then if we uh, get a couple blocks here, we'll set up our water elevator over here, our bubble vader. And then when the spider touches the corner here, I think that will make them climb up. And we'll send them way up into the sky. All right, we just did the one side there, and it still needs a bit of work. But let's see what happens with it. See if we're on the right track or not. So I want to see them go up the elevator there when they touch the honey. Now they're still going to climb in the middle. Honey went up. It didn't really look like you got bubble baited up, though. Oh, that guy got a little bit bubble baited. Looks like they're just kind of climbing it, though. It could be an illusion, though. That guy definitely got bubble baited. Okay, so we got some some working. All right, cool, cool. Those guys aren't climbing in the middle, actually. They're just kind of bouncing up and down, so that's good. Anyway, I think we're going to have to wrap up the episode here for today because I got to get up early tomorrow to go to the dentist. Oh, <laughs> I'm so terrified. I haven't been to the dentist in over 20 years, everybody. I had a bad experience when I was younger, and I haven't wanted to go back since. The worst pain of my life, I tell you. Uh, but who knows what they're going to discover in 20 years. I also went, like, many years without brushing my teeth when I was younger because I was stupid. <laughs> so, it's, it's uh, anybody's guess. Hopefully, I'll be fine. Hopefully, I don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars and, and get root canals and stuff like that. I think it's, it's just going to be a cavity fill, hopefully. But we'll see. Anyways, uh, to finish off the episode, I did actually get to play a round of the TCG game with Doc Yama. It was so much fun. It was really cool. So I'm going to end the episode with that. Uh, if you want a more detailed explanation of the game, I highly recommend you go check out Vintage Beef. I'll try to give you guys a quick explanation, though, just in case. So there's four types of cards in this game. You got Hermit cards, you have Item cards, Effect cards, and then Single Use Effect cards. So a Hermit card, each of these has a health pool at the top right there. XB has 270. Um, and... In order to win the game, you have to knock your opponent's Hermits down to 0 HP. Do that three times, you win the game. Or, if your opponent runs out of Hermits on his board, he, he loses also that way. So, in order to do that, you need to attack the other Hermits using the attack moves down below there. So, we got Giggle and Noise. Giggle, in order to use that, we need to attach an item resource to our Hermit that matches the, the proper resource type there. So, Explorer... Uh, items for Explorer Hermits. That noise attack, the the Explorer item plus the white item there. The white item is a wild item, so it can be any type. It could be Explorer, it could be Miner, it could be Builder, whatever we, we have in our deck we can throw there. Uh, effect cards, you attach these to a Hermit and it gives them a permanent upgrade, basically. It gives them a special effect. Single-use car effect cards are like... Uh, like bonus 40 damage for that turn only. They're just one turn effects that help to swing the game. And that's the, the general gist of it. You'll get a better idea as you watch us play here. So hopefully you enjoy the game with Dotgam. My first win, bro. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. yeah? I got lucky though, I have to say. It was Joe just You, you did get incredibly around. lucky. Who let you win? <laughs> No, it, it was no letting No one let him win. I did not let him win. I played the best I could. It was just the heart of the cards, you know? Sometimes you yeah. don't draw any extra hermits right away. Ah, look at that, Which Etho. Packs are one token. Ooh. Those, those are the tokens? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I want those. <laughs> yeah. Cleo, well, you need to play. You got an inventory play, full even. of them. Just cough them up. Cough I them do. Up. Well, I have, no, no. I have 28 of them, but you need to play. You gotta earn you need them. To play. The you can way. you can play you can play Doc. You yeah, can you crush Doc, Doc right and now, win. Yeah, the winner gets three tokens, the loser gets one. <laughs> but if if he beats me, it just makes me look worse than the Anvil War. <laughs> 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 oh, are we playing for honor now? Like a little like, bit. Yeah, you wanna you wanna play around, Ethan? Uh, I got my deck here. I'm ready to take you on. Uh, was there an official sanctioned match already, or was this the first one? That's the first, as far as I'm aware. See, unless Beef has run listen, one. Listen, show some respect. You're talking to the number one in the leaderboards <laughs> right now. All right. I don't know. Cleo's got all the tokens though. Uh, so like, what? I do, and I've got the most wins overall. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, how do we do this? What's the plan? Here? All right, so first things first. Things first. Uh, put everything, all your cards in the white box, all tw 42 of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's 42, noob. Hey, you are. <laughs> you probably bought a, a booster pack and have better cards than no. me now. He's no. not, he's not. He he could have done, but he hasn't. Oh, see, okay. I, all I want is I want a deck with only goat cards, only first, Doc in there. First rule of TCG's Doc: It's not how good you are; it's what cards you have. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> looking for excuses already. I oh see. God, this is going to take a while. Just from all the trash <laughs> talk. Um, are you guys are all your cards in? I think so. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hit shuffle. They should all be disappearing. One. Press the button seven times. <sighs> I'm going to press my first Doc. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Save. It is Green. Doc goes first. Oh come on! Why? What is? It's bad. That's to okay. Go that first. means he can't attack first round. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got any hermits up? Okay. okay. My first hermit comes out is good old trusted stress. stress. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh, yeah. she's gonna give you some trouble, baby. I, as I started, I cannot attack. Okay, so now I need yeah, to draw a card. card and end my turn. This is the active spot here. Yep. Oh. All right. We got a nice. TFC. Oh. oh, yeah. That's a solid TF one. TFC is a mean tanky. card. Yeah, he's yeah. He's very yeah. tanky. Uh, and he's he's good. He's very good. Okay. 40 uh, right away. Is, is there a if limit of one resource per turn? One item per turn, as far as one I'm item. aware. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but you can see. add effect cards. Uh, I'm going like to attack with Pi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On stress. For, for, for 40. Uh, all right, all Which right. brings Doc down to not bad. 240. Now you draw a card. Yet, at least. And you draw a card. Doc, it's your go. You can add right, any number right. of hermits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also going to do these. Add another little fancy stair. Uh oh, he's to powering up. <laughs> oh no, he did get the. Oh! No. He's full power. Full power. All right, all right. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> and for reference, for Etho, that's the first twenty points of damage are negated for every attack. All right. That's insane! Go Come on. on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, um, is yeah, OP. Attacking. Geezer, geezer. Um, oh. Eighty. Eighty. That's eighty. So. What kind of stack deck do you have there, dog? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have pulled out a better first first turn. <laughs> I, I have to say, I, I got again got quite lucky. Etho, your turn. Uh, attach a Joe. What is he? He's an uh, type he's, explorer. He's an explorer, which is strong against builder types. What is the symbol for explorer? I'm getting ready for, uh, for taking Elytra. out stress it's here. The Elytra. And I will TFC Pi for for twenty. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, okay, it's so yeah. weak. That's nice. Come on, something good, please. No, what is this trash? <laughs> Beef never added a, a, a discard to draw more option, did he? Like I told him to. Um, no. Oh, there there are cards that do. There are cards that do that. Well, um, what am I supposed to do with this trash in my hand then? <laughs> TFC power up. Giza attack again on on TFC. Okay, that brings you down to 130. Oh, Doc man. is just powering through the damage here. Oh, it's turning yeah. orange. No. Man. Okay, I'm going to attach a item to Joe, Smart. and I'll have Pi for 20 again. That armor is a killer. Yeah, just normal geezer attack again. There you go. No. <laughs> I pull a card. So just to clarify, I can't switch an attack in the same turn, right? No, you okay. have to do one or the other. Okay, okay. A green and boy. This, this game mm -hmm. is not over yet. Yeah. And oh, I yes. will attach another Ooh, tanky energy and really powerful attacks. Wow. Okay, that's a good one. Green is really good. That's smart. That's smart. I've got a haiku ready now. Yeah, haiku. See, see, he's <laughs> whining. Look at that. Look, look how he was whining. Look what he has lined up now, man. I'm, oh yeah, no, he's gonna yeah, actually you know, annihilate you. You got any that, destructive haikus look for Doc right now, Joe? I, I literally no. wrote one when I saw you were putting the items on there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> man, this looks grim. Twenty, okay. twenty pie again for stress. Three hundred health in the whole thing. Uh, stress taking out TFC. Yep. TFC goes down. No. 
Which means, Doc, yeah. you can go and get a prize card from your 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 thing. What? Because you took yeah. out a hermit. You need to pick which hermit you're bringing out. Who me? Oh, is yeah. that Joe Hills for sure? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I gotta I gotta try to make a comeback here. Okay, I'm gonna attach a builder item to Grian. Mm -hmm. Um. Then I am going to haiku. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, stress damage first. Very effective. Add explorer type bonus. <laughs> and armor, that and useless. Yeah, so that adds a bonus twenty, right? <laughs> which negates yeah, the armor. Yeah, that adds a bonus twenty, which negates the armor. So it was a powerful attack, man, with so, life for for ninety narration. <laughs> yeah, which brings stress down to ninety. Well, which just so happens to perfectly knock him out next turn too. Uh -huh. Next turn, yeah, absolutely. Oh, are you done? Sorry. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. There's no. your boy B double no. O. Uh oh, <laughs> it's gonna be your demise. <laughs> oh, it's All a right. rare B dubs. Is player sleeps for the next two turns, can't attack, restores full health, can still draw and attach cards while sleeping. What cannot be used consecutively. Oh, User okay. cannot go AFK whilst asleep. Wait, what? <laughs> sure. That's that's the ability of your rare B dubs. Oh, player sleep for the next nice, two turns. Nice, nice Snorlax you got there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. Before she goes out, we're gonna go out with a bang. No. <laughs> <gasps> so that is does forty HP damage to the opposing hermit and ten mm -hmm. plus ten HP to an AFK hermit of the player's choice. Oh yeah, no, eighty eighty a... attack. Uh, so yeah, one ninety. So Joe, right? Yeah. So one ninety immediately down into the orange. How is that possible? And then I'm assuming that green goes down to 290. Yeah. I'm going to attach a item to old green here. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Haiku for 90 plus bonus 20 damage to knock uh, out the stress monster. Okay. That geezer struck me. And now <laughs> I strike back at you. Farewell. <laughs> Stress monster. I love it. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. We gotta build in audio okay. effects to these cards. Yeah, next. man, dude. This is so epic. Hit the button, get a prize card. Oh, no, what is this? <laughs> My problem, Mr. Yeah. No, was beat ups. I can also bring out another hermit, right? You can. Yeah. Arguably, yeah. you should do that before you place an item, but you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, oh, is that the, the rule? Yeah, okay. you bring out a hermit, then you attach. Okay. Yeah, obviously, I'm going to attack with retexture. <laughs> All right. 130. Okay. I'm going to okay. place down a Jevin and then attach an item to it. And then oh. Haiku for 90 against speed up. Okay, keep which brings him down. Folks out. And I'll keep <laughs> knocking them down. Bury them. Discarded. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and you can't kill Joe, Doc. He has to live the whole, oh, whole time. Oh, you absolutely can. Uh, all right. I'm attaching another Priming mm -hmm. TFC retexture attack on Joe. And Go down to 70. 70. Yep. I'm going to attach <gasps> did you, a did you pull card? Explorer to a Jevin. I coup for 90. <sighs> Against the B dubs again. Uh... Here's 90 once more. <laughs> Before I take a long rest, five more syllables. <laughs> that's, that's very well done, Joe. I'm impressed. I was, I was in the that was pretty of it, fast even... that you got those ready, even. I, I'm doing these on the fly. This is challenge. We're impressed. We're impressed for a moderate amount of impressed. All right. So I'm having another single use card. No, know. you can't have another single use <laughs> card. Are you serious? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't have one. <laughs> but I haven't drawn a single one. There's no way you got like five already. I'm gonna bring back TFC. Oh, you switch it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm assuming that gives me a free switch then. Well, you could switch absolutely, but oh, you wouldn't be able to Oh, I'm definitely switching. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's smart. Smart. <laughs> yes. Catch item first, then switch to Jevin. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. And draw my card. And pull a card. Oh, very good, very good. All right, attack by TFC on Jeff. And he got them powered up already? Mm. Yeah, no. You say that like you haven't got yours powered up. Look what I pulled, Cleo. <laughs> check, check what I pulled. He's going to be so mad. 
There better be a water bucket. Okay, I'm I'm gonna play a gem. Ooh. We're gonna attach a builder item. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. You got some tanky cards there, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely tanky. And then I'm gonna gemination for ninety against TFC. Ooh, that's another three hundred. <laughs> No, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> well, it's only 40, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, also 10 damage. to the others, to one AFK guy too, right? Mm, it says 40 to opposing AFK Hermit. So you need to pick which AFK Hermit. Wait, what AFK? So you can oh, hit yeah, Gem, yeah. you can hit Joe or Green. Yeah, let's knock down Green a little bit, the 40. Uh, Okay, so that brings him down to 250. Okay, so that is 90 on Jev. You cannot take another one of those. He needs two more knocked out, right? He needs. To, you both need two more knocked out. You've both right, knocked yeah. out one of each. Every time. Item onto <laughs> onto Jem, and then Jevonation. At one point, you're gonna get you're gonna get effect cards. Yeah. Sometime. Jevonation for 90 on the TFC. One ten. Normal attack, so yeah, taking out Jev. So, taking out a Jev, put him in your discard. Um, bring out Joe. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna hold on to Joe for a bit. I think. <laughs> Thanks, Etho. All right, we're we're bringing out the Green, and we're gonna okay. waffle for seventy against TFC. Brings TFC down to forty. Attack again on Green with TFC. I am like ninety percent sure you got a very, very rare card. Who me? Somewhere in your deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It was oh, I should have three of them. Out. I just haven't seen any Wait, of them. <laughs> Two sixty? No, no, there can't be. Oh, right. one sixty. Was... Sorry, yeah. my mistake. One sixty. I tried. <clears throat> I tried to help you. I tried to help you, Vito. Dude, what can a... I do? Ed's doing nine. All of his cards time. are gnarly. Wow. Mm, okay. 90, yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Waffle for 70. Knock out the TFC. Yeah. I'm going to pull my I bonus card. Get, I wanted to get one more shot in with TFC before he goes Ooh. down. Okay, Ooh. you're 2 2. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, that sounds ominous. He obviously, Keralis comes to, mm -hmm. to live. Wait, this card um, sucks. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Another 90 attack. No, 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 no. On. <laughs> Green. Do that too well. Oh boy! So he's hitting ninety every time. So I gotta, I gotta switch or yeah. I lose, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh boy! What am I gonna do, Doc? I think you got me on the ropes here. Know. Not, not, not necessarily. necessarily. I'm getting not nervous. Really. I'm getting what nervous. do you mean? You bring back how? She You're has a hundred attack. Yeah. So not yet. Know. She doesn't. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is what here's the plan. We're gonna attach a item to Jen. Yeah, I see. Get her powered <laughs> up. Uh, then we're gonna also attach Look a chorus fruit to Green. This allows me to switch after attacking, right? Wow. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to smart choice. Waffle for seventy onto the old Corellis boy. Oop. All right. Hey, don't touch my cards. And then switch to <laughs> gem. <laughs> that's, oh, then that switch was, to gem. That and is the lucky. The... You would have been. That is so lucky. <laughs> lucky. Uh, skill, Doc. All skill. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and this goes into the discard, right? The course. Yeah, that goes in your discard box. Yeah. So lucky. And then I get to draw one, right? Very mm -hmm. cool. Oh, that was a good turn. That felt good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a very good turn. Uh, I'm gonna attach this, get B-dubs ready. No, 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 no. Attack on Gem, try to knock off some of her health. Ah, that's rough. Yeah, that's really... Now I need to draw some good goodness. Or be I, I, I thought you had it, Doc. I thought you yeah, had this, it. <laughs> the Chorus Fruit really, that Chorus Fruit was this... The Chorus Fruit is brutal. evil. Yeah, I'll attach the shield. It's, and... it's, yeah, it's just... It's just rubbing it in at this point. How and then I'll be great for 100 off? against Corellis. Knocking him down how, to 100. How much, how much does this take off the shield? Just 10. 20. Oh, just 10. Okay. Yeah, it's trash. I don't know why he did that. Well, I think no matter what I do now, it's game over. There's nothing in the pile that can save me. Yeah. And then you attack back and it's over. So 
Yeah, we don't need to. <laughs> do I need to do take that. the health cards down then? No. <laughs> we, There's no other outcome that. right now. Look, I have like <laughs> only normal balance. I have no, no. Yeah, yeah. Like I think, I think, I think this That's is an win. Yeah, yeah. Good game, dog. All right, GG. Well done. That was close. <laughs> yeah. The chorus fruit, man. The chorus was fruit was a big one. The chorus fruit oh, came clutch. It was a good yeah. card. Okay, well, I guess. And you got it I at guess. the perfect perfect timing as well, right? You yeah. could power up I just up got gem. gem powered up with yeah. the, the builder yeah. item I got out of my uh, thing exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah. Well, then, so that was the Ethan. perfect combo. Yes, Cleo? <gasps> Tokens! Yeah. And you get one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go mean, for a booster. I mean, what you could do is you could yeah. pull your stuff together and then get a starter deck and then trade for it. What we got, what we got, what we got. Boom. Yeah. Oh, those look nice. All right. Uh, I'm going to throw them in the, the box here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, another oh, nice. Okay. TNT's good. Oh, oh rare Corallis. Oh, Max is good. Corallis. And Golden a... Eggs. Rare Corallis. Corallis is really Golden good. Axe. Rare Corallis. He is 40 damage. AFK. Ooh. You got two rares in that pack. That golden axe looks wow. good. And another and chorus fruit. Chorus yes. Fruit. Yeah, man. And a TNT. TNT's amazing. Damage. Whoa. Yeah. The Keralis is also very good, man. Look at that. That is such a good deck. Mm. That is such a good booster pack. Oh, the TNT okay. is an interesting card because it does 20 to you, too. Yeah, but if you've got a shield or a, or a yeah, piece yeah. of gold armor, yeah, I know, you it's can more negate strategic. that immediately. Oh, so oh you've you got, got two the double explore. build cards. Oh, I yeah. really need the explorer, Doc. Oh, you, oh, double explore. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open one of these. If I get something good, we trade. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I need redstone. Because <laughs> you don't need redstone. explorer, do you? Well, I've got I've got double redstone, I think, uh, but I think yeah. I'm gonna go for the miner from Joe. Uh, I think. Uh, wait, I need to pick up my stuff. Oh man, this is. Oh, good. Get I got some more addicted. builders. Oh, I got double PVP. Double PvP. Who needs PVP? Who needs? Somebody, please. No, I don't. I'm Darn sorry. it. No. 